all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Warren. Transfer. Uh, thank you for uh, yep. uh, reaching out to me, man. Um, my name's Shine. Uh, six years of experience. Um, okay. I, you know, sent out, you know, the questionnaire just to, you know, see what mm-hmm. you guys got to offer and and uh, stuff like that. So, um, can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what the company has to offer? Yep, I can do that. Um, awesome. And what we uh, do, uh, we have, uh, we're an owner-operator company, I guess, to start with. Warren's has been in business since 1949. Mm-hmm. So we've been uh, been here a long time. Um, we've got uh owner-operator company. We do have a lease purchase program available, which I think is what you're interested in. No company positions, so you wouldn't be competing against those contractors for free. Um, we've got two divisions. Uh, 53 foot dry box fan division, open deck machinery division. Um, those contractors pull the step decks, RGNs, flatbeds, and we haul a lot of uh, over height, over which farm and construction machinery, you know, tractors, combines, that type of thing on that freight, on that lane. Um, okay. As far so, oh, go far ahead. as. Go oh, ahead. go ahead. Uh, no, no, go ahead. No. Oh, okay. So. Um, no company, no no company drivers at all. Just uh, owner operators no. and lease guys. Owner operator lease purchase. So if you're looking for company position, I would not have that available for you. Oh, okay, okay. Now, as far as leasing, uh, what uh, what? Well, let me start by let me let me start by the question that I got in my head because uh, the questions that sure. I pretty much sent you is geared towards uh towards uh company but it still could be missed in that's cool um so for uh lease is so the lease is this lease purchase or lease uh yep. just the okay so lease purchase so no we'll, it, is, it is a lease purchase program definitely all right so what lease purchase program is there a down payment no uh, it is a no money down no credit check lease with 6% interest on it. And if you do a little comparison around, I think you're going to find that that interest rate is a very good one for a lease program. Okay. How uh, how much is the trust per week? Okay, payments are going to run you 550 to $630 a week, mm-hmm. a lease length, 18 to 48 months on the length of the lease. And I always like to tell everybody up front that because – we do try it at Warren's here to keep our payments very low. We have a balloon payment due at the end of it for the final purchase of the truck, which we do a couple things to help our contractors out with. Our, uh, just to let you know, um, and this is something we're actually very proud of here at Warren's, on our lease purchase program for the contractors last year who were eligible to that part of their lease to complete the buyout of the truck, we had better than a 50 cent completion rate, which on a lease purchase world, is a very good one. Contractors All right, so, stuck with it and, and purchase their trucks. So that I better understand, uh, what do you guys sure. what what do you guys mean by a balloon payment? Okay, what the balloon payment is, um, and, and when you if you decide to come in, when you come in, you select your trucks. Mm-hmm. You're provided with all this information. It'd be the total value of the truck. Mm-hmm. I just start with, and then uh, it will tell you like minus the. Uh, Payments you're making in the in the, in the, you know the the not only the payments you're making but the price of those payments how much they were okay so in the lease length so what the balloon payment is is the total value of the truck minus the payments you made during the lease mm-hmm. the remaining balance is the is the balloon part of the payment okay um, that Question. can run okay go ahead question sure. all right so. Out of the out of the forty eight months, uh, I, mm-hmm. I finish up with one amount, right? And then mm-hmm. the the balloon payment amount will be. Yep. Would that would that be another lease out through you guys, or is that something that I'm gonna be responsible for as far as finding my own finance? to to finance that out well that is part of what we do to help you to help our contractors out with because you are ultimately responsible or are responsible Mm -hmm. but we do a couple things to help out with that number one and although you don't have to we have available a credit union 
and for contractors to join that, mm-hmm. it's a good way or a good place to go do your financing because the credit union has worked with our contractors. Um, so they're, this is one of the things that they do is just make these type of truck loans. Plus, what they do is take a look at your lease payments you've been making as a form of credit history. They mm-hmm. help you out with that. So mm-hmm. it makes that process go better. The other thing we do is we have all of the contractors on the program contribute into uh, what we call our maintenance fund. And okay. the maintenance fund is, is simply based, you know, on the, it's a 10 to 15 cents a mile based on the number of miles you drive. Mm-hmm. But that is your money. What we do a little different here at Warren's is we don't just put that into a big pool. Um, we keep track of your money separately. And so at the end of the lease, any money, you know, that you should, you'll should have build up in there that you have to use for tires or service or maintenance or something like that. Mm-hmm. You can pull out of there at that time, use it as a down payment, use it to cover part or all of that balloon payment, depending upon, you know, what truck you do. And, and the balloon payment will vary depending upon the year of the truck that you pick. Okay. Uh, we lease out 2018 and newer trucks. Um, so if you have a newer truck, you, of course, the higher balloon payment. If you lease an older truck, uh, the lower the balloon payment, a lot of guys will come out of that and, and pay it off with their with their uh, lease money or their uh, maintenance money and, and go on from there. So All I right. kind of try to offer guys lots of different options of what they want to do. So, okay, so as far as the as far as far the balloon payment, which is an additional payment, am I correct in mm-hmm. saying that? Okay, so that's an additional payment. So what would be – so – what? How much would the truck be, and how much would I would have paid in total at the end of uh, the forty-eight lease, and then going into another financial situation to finance the rest of the rest of the balance? How much would be? Okay. How much would that be in total? Okay, I can't quite get. I can't quite get you all the figures you need there. Okay, simply because. Um, and and I and, but I'll tell you and I'll tell you why and what I can. Can't get you. We don't own the leasing company. We go through a company called Competitive Equipment Sales. Right. Now the trucks are here in Waterloo. Uh, there are trucks um, that we deal with. The representative is right here, so it's not like we're just going out and finding old company trucks someplace and you know throwing them into the lease. With what 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 a lot of companies do, not what we do. Right. Um, but the reason why I can't tell you what the value are is you know, basically because we don't. Uh, run the leasing company. And number two, um, what's available each week, we handle uh, the trucks we lease out are, they said, 2018 and newer trucks. They're Freightliner, Escadias, Volvo, 780s, Raid 60s, and Peterbilt 579s. Mm-hmm. These are the models we handle. What's available each week can vary a little bit within that group because when we get the trucks in, we send them all out to the dealerships to be ready to go for you. Oh, okay. um, so, uh, you know, uh, that kind of depends from week to week. Um, you know, the payments on a, on a, if you're doing a 48 month lease, we would have to assume that that's one of the newer trucks, perhaps even a brand new truck. Mm-hmm. So you'd have the longer lease, the higher payments. So the higher payments are 630 bucks a week times the 48 months would be how much you paid in. But, um, in the, in the balance, you know, like I said, that would be the number I don't have for you. Oh, okay. Um, but, it, but but what it is is simply, you know, just to know we're not trying to, you know, run a fast one here. It's the total value of the truck, which you will know ahead of time. Minus the lease payments, is your balloon payment. It's pretty. It's, okay. it's pretty much you know cut and dried. And we do let our contractors know all of that as part of their information when they're selected in the truck. All right. Okay? So, so does that make sense? Yeah. So a four year deal for a brand new truck after end of, after end of paying in in the regular lease and then finishing it mm-hmm. finishing it out with the balloon payment. How much That's correct. how much would you get how much would you guys offer us for, you know, how much would we get paid for, you know, is it percentage? Okay. Is it uh yep. cent per mile? How how much are we gonna get paid so we can keep up with this? Uh, least the yeah, no, good good question. Good question. We are a percentage paying company. Okay. Um, we've got, like I said, the two different divisions on our van division. Um, right now, the average of all of our contractors, and and this includes guys who are good hard runners, and it also includes guys who are in a position where they don't have to run as hard. So 
This is the average over that whole grouping. Right now, they're bringing home after all the fixed costs are out, which would be your lease payment, uh, your portion would be insurance, Qualcomm access and permits, plus fuel and fuel tax deducted from their weekly settlement uh, between sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars a week net to them in their settlements. And I've got guys bringing home more than that. I've got guys bringing home less than that. It simply depends on how hard you want to run. And we've got a very large uh, base of customer contracted freight, so we've got the freight to keep you running as hard as you want to run. Okay. Uh, okay. Specialized division. The specialized division works the same basic way, uh, but it uh, you can bring them you know a couple hundred bucks or more a month on that one. Uh, you know just because of the type of uh, you know freight you're hauling. Now that percentage we pay. And we do this a little bit different than a lot of companies do, too. Um, you know, we've been around a long time, try to keep it very straightforward and, you know, uh, maybe even call it old school. We pay 65% of the load, 100% of the fuel surcharge. But we never charge you any trailer rental, maintenance fees, or repairs on the trailers. We own all of our trailer fleet, provide that all for you at no cost. We, because we do own the trailer fleet and you're hauling our customer freight, we provide the cargo insurance and general liability part of the insurance for you. And then also to help out with your fuel cost, we've got a EFS fuel card for you for our contractors to use. And we've gone to some of the bigger companies and negotiated in discounts that are going to range from $0.30 cents a gallon up to buck a gallon on that. So uh, okay. that all goes to your pay package. Okay. So now... Um, kind of, oh, kind of, but... Well, I'm just going to give you one more thing on, on that to kind of help you gauge this. On our van fleet um, right now, our per mile average to the trailer, this is in September, what it, uh, we are a lease purchase program, of course, I mean, a uh, percentage paying company, but the average of what our guys were making in September was $1.77 to the truck over all miles run. Okay, that was the average that they were that they brought home in, in September. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so as far as the, so once I finish, so let's just say I start the lease. Let's say I've been in it for, mm-hmm. you know, for a little bit. Maybe I only don't have that much to go. Uh, is this a walkaway lease or is it? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so this is a walkaway. So meaning meaning that if I decide to leave the company, I will have to leave the truck pretty much. Yeah, you, you do have to leave the truck. You have just to return the truck. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if at any point in time you decide to leave. You have to leave the truck, return it to uh, Waterloo here, Iowa, which is where we're located at. And then uh, as far as walkaway lease, there's no penalties or anything like that. All of our contractors are, this is pretty standard across the industry. When you get the truck, you know, you, we talked about how they, we send them out to the dealerships to make sure they're all completely prepped and ready to go for you, okay? Mm-hmm. And like on, on a used truck coming back in, you know, that would be the same way as a brand-new truck. Now, the contractor, would, if he decides to turn the truck in, he is just responsible for whatever that fee would be, and it could run, you know, three, four $4,000, you know, on, on stuff. So you get the truck completely ready to go for the next contractor, you know, to go to the dealerships to be completely gone through, anything repaired, um, you know, detailed out, ready to go. But that's the only cost. Um other than that, all your money is returned. Anything you've got built up in the maintenance fund, when that's all that is all returned to you, um, that we keep track of all that for you. Okay. So that, that's how, you know, how the lease works. All right. We, so, and we do have a program. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just said one other thing, I guess. But I'm not, not trying to overload you, but I want to make sure <laughs> I explain it here. No, I'm, if, I'm, I'm if following you. Time, see, yeah, I'm, I'm following you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. good. Well, you had a lot of good questions, so I want to make sure you understand, you know, what, what the programs are here. At the end of the lease, and we have guys that do this, you know, uh, they um, say that they might have leased on a little older truck, okay? So they get to the end of the lease, and they really like working here, you know, which we hope you finish paying off your truck and then continue to stay leased on here as an owner-operator. Uh, that's our goal because uh, we, we really don't want our contractors to stay. But say you maybe want a, a newer truck. So you can actually, if you've completed your lease, turn that, you know, turn your truck in um, without paying that balloon payment, and then you can redo a lease on a newer truck. But as a returning contractor, uh, one that's already here, 
you get first pick on the trucks so you can, you know, get a new truck. Uh, we even have an alternate leasing company you go to where you could decide to go through and, and get exactly what you want. So there are different options that we give give contractors, you know, so they can, you know, be happy to get what they want. So after the, so the, the, the plan after we, you know, pay for the truck and everything, the plan is mm-hmm. to, to actually sign on with you guys as owner operators to continue yeah, out. Just, just, yep, just to stay leased on with us. And really, that's what we are. Um, we started in 1949 as an owner operator company. Mm-hmm. Um, we got into the lease program about eight, nine years ago uh, simply because we started to recognize it was getting harder and harder for contractors to be able to come up with that money down, you know, mm-hmm. saving twenty, thirty thousand dollars to put down, that that gets tough. Um, so we got into the lease purchase program, no money down, no credit check, just as a way to help lease on good quality contractors to help us all our okay. customer freight and who wanted to be and who wanted to become owner operators. Um, part of the good thing about not owning that leasing company in my mind, uh, is the fact that we make money when you make money hauling freight. So if our contractors aren't making money, you know, doing that, we're not making any money. We don't make money just because we leased you a truck, you know, and, and some companies do. I think that's a good difference. <laughs> okay, okay. That's <laughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Anything else I can answer for you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I just got lost. Don't keep in, going, please. I I just got lost in. No, uh, I'm in sorry, you. I... <laughs> Okay, yeah. so uh, hey, I appreciate I appreciate the questions. I do. All right, thank you. Uh, I appreciate the time. Um, so for so for drivers that's coming in uh to do the lease program, and that's what I guess that's where I concentrate mm-hmm. on. How much experience yep. do you require them to have? Okay, we require our contractors to. Have- 12 months verifiable over-the-road experience. Mm -hmm. And I know you said you had six years' experience. That was over-the-road or regional. Uh, That works fine for us, just 12 months. Um, The other things we look at, because Warren's has a very good safety record. Uh, Here at Warren's, we look for contractors with a good driving record. Uh, No more than a combination of three accidents, incidences, Mm -hmm. or violations in the last three years. Mm -hmm. And no major... No major tickets like a plus fifteen speeding or, or uh, reckless driving or, or like an accident like a, you, you uh, had a roll over or rear end or something like that. Oh, okay. You know, okay. we're 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 a company that looks for good good safe contractors. Uh, you know, the lease on we're not a company that gets pulled over by the, the DOT all the time because they know we've got a really high, uh, poor safety record and they can always find uh, problems with us. We're we ourselves and keep ourselves in that uh, category where you know we're we're on the we're on the the good list when Santa looks not the bad list like yeah all right so I have a three part question how 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 would you guys uh, so for orientation how would you guys mm-hmm. get us how would you guys get us out there <coughs> uh, is the pre-employment dress screening urine or uh, hair follicle and is the hotel solo? Okay, um, we would get you out here. We could either, we would do one of two things. We could either rent you a car, or we pay for the car rental. You are uh, responsible for the gas, but we pay for the car rental. Mm-hmm. Or we could get you a plane ticket and fly you in. We pay for the ticket. You would be responsible for any check bags. Okay. Uh, we rent you your own solo hotel room. We don't have to share with anybody. Uh, we pay for the rental, of course. Breakfast is served there. We also cater and lunch for you every day. So we cover that. And I completely forgot the third part of that question. Uh, um, no, no, I got you. Uh, you. Hair follicles or urine? Oh, yep, yep, urine. Oh, okay. Urine samples. All right, all right. Yep. All right, awesome, awesome. So this uh the the lease uh the lease option is uh ten ninety nine, I take it. So That's correct. Uh so you know, benefits and insurance is going to have to be covered by us. Um, what about yep. what? Although what about, we do have. Oh, okay. Uh, although on that line, we don't offer it, but we do have a company called True North Health that our contractors can work through. We've got kind of a agreement or association with them. 
and they do get better breaks on that. I don't have the pricing, but we do have at least a, a company to contact there. You know, they could get you in, in on that, maybe help out on the price break. And the other thing on your taxes and that type of thing, and this is not something that you have to do, but I think the majority of our contractors do it. We recommend it. We're associated with a company called ATBF, mm-hmm. and what they do is they help contractors, you know, that are owner-operators or at least purchase either one, because uh, we consider all of you, all of you to be owner operators, but help them with with uh, their tax information and their business information. Now they're good at knowing all the discounts that you get, okay. you know, and things like that. Really, kind of help you keep on line with that. As, so it might be something if you decide to do it, you'd want to look into. All right. What about uh, what about choosing our loads? Are are we able to choose our loads off a load board, or is yes. it dispatched to us? Okay, um, you, we are 100% non-force dispatch, so you can choose your loads. We run off of what I call a mini load board um, because we talked earlier about that large customer base we have of freight. Um, and what we do when uh, you're going into an information or uh, area to deliver your load, uh, we're, a, like I said, a 48-state over-the-road carrier. Our main freight lanes were located in Waterloo, Iowa, run Midwest, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, down to Laredo, Texas, over to Georgia in the Carolinas. So say that you're coming into Waterloo to deliver a load. Before all the available customer freight we have available for you, all the loads we have in this area, and then you can talk it over with your fleet manager, ask them any questions, but you pick the load you want. So we send that out over our Omnitrax Qualcomm system that we put in all the trucks, mm-hmm. and it's kind of looks uh, as a mini load board for you to choose from the loads in that area. Okay, okay. Uh what kind of what kind of trucks you guys offer? And now let me ask you this: being that it's lease and we're buying it, is the trucks open or is it governed? Okay, um, they are 2018 and newer. Um, Freightliner Cascadias, Volvo 780s or 860s, and Peterbilt 579s. Those are the models we handle. They all have factory warranty on them, so we don't lease out anything that has got enough miles on it, so it goes out of warranty. Um, now, the trucks are governed while you're on the lease. Uh, from the leasing company, and this is their requirement, uh, they're governed at 70 mile an hour, um, okay. which most of our guys can live with. Now, as soon as you're done with the uh, uh, lease and, and, you know, you're owning the truck or that blue part, as soon as you're off the lease, you can, you know, take that off and they can be governed, you know, and ungoverned so they're open. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. All right. Driver what driver cameras? Oh, front face seat only. All right. Um and being that everything is 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 all percentage based for, you know, for mm-hmm. the uh the the uh what was that? Flatbed and cent per mm-hmm. I mean cent per mile base for the van. Do you guys offer you know for the leasing? Do you guys offer any more any more pay for drivers that's going up into the Northeast? Okay, um, and, and just to qualify that, uh, we're percentage on both the van and the open deck. Oh, oh okay. Okay, okay, sorry. Same, sorry. same percentage. That 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 per mile average, and that does get confusing. Mm-hmm. Um, why why I gave that to you is just so you had something to compare it to. The per mile oh. average is not, you know, uh, it's just what the average was of the contractors we're making in September on the van division with their percentage. Oh, okay. So, I got you. Know, you. That's not I got a, you. I got you. That's, yeah, that's not a – that number that will vary – that could vary each month. It's been climbing steadily because the rates are good. As far as your rates going up to any particular part of the country, um, we don't go up to the northeast very often. On the machinery side, we do pull out of the port in Baltimore, kind of get into the Pennsylvania area, but we don't go north a lot more than that um but the load offers um as far as the pay for different areas there are areas that have better rates and it's it's the same percentage but we negotiate in better rates areas where you know either the contractors don't like to go as well uh, harder to get into or perhaps there's not as much good freight coming back out of so that is reflected in the rates you know from those particular loads to customer. All lanes are different. Hold on for a second. So just go up there and get the paperwork and uh, and the and the seal to the office, right? 
Thank you. All right. Uh, wow. Okay. The very interesting conversation that I that I have with you, man. Oh, I mean, this, been... I mean, you know, I to be to be totally honest with you, I I honestly learned a lot within with within this twenty minutes of talking to you. Uh, good. Good. I mean, everybody got their own idea on leasing mm-hmm. and 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 all like that, and of course, you know, of course, I hear. You know, I I hear different opinions, different advices, yeah. and all like that. And and the way and and the way you broke it down for for me, you know, I'm I'm like you know I'm like that guy from uh from Philadelphia. Explain it to me like I'm a five year old, and that. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two year old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing I just cannot get through my thick head. <laughs> exactly how you you kind of broke it down well, for me. You know, you needed the information, and I you know I knew from the conversation you hadn't been into a lease before. And you're exactly right. Um, there are hundreds of leases, and a lot of them are bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll admit it to you up front. Um, I I like ours, I really do, and uh, um, basic basic reason is because. We try to do things very openly. Um, one thing that happens on, there are a lot of uh, leases or, or lease purchase companies where they're going to offer you 75%, sometimes 80% of a load. Mm-hmm. But what they do differently is they have so many discounts or that on the trailers, on the trailer rental, on the maintenance. And I've, I've had contractors come in, honestly, where they've brought me in some of their previous settlements. And I'll look at them, and I can't begin to tell you what some of the deductions are for on that. And, you know, that that's one of the things that happens out there. A lot of companies um, have terribly high interest rates on their leases. Um, they have terribly high payments on them, and, and those are normally companies that own the own the leasing company itself, so they make money off of the off of that lease, not really interested in hauling freight. They, as long as they get a, a, a direct contract for that seat, they're making money. Mm-hmm. And, I think that is one of the things that sets us apart. We don't make money unless you make money. I think it's a, I think the other could actually, in my mind, it's a kind of almost a conflict of interest there. They're mm-hmm. fighting against each other. Well, you know what, man? I, I really appreciate that you taking the time to uh, to talk to me and, and explain uh, a lot of key pieces of uh, of leasing to me. I, I really do appreciate that. That gives me something to that gives me something to, that gives me more to think about whether or not if I should, you know, convert from being a company driver to going over to the you know lease side of things. Um, is there is there a sign on bonus with you guys? There is. Hey, there, there is. That's a good question. Um, for a sign-on bonus, um, well, it's, it's a total of a $2,000 package. A uh, Part of it, when you're done with orientation, is just simply a $250 gift card we give to you. It's a Visa gift card, I believe it is. Um, use it just like a debit card. You know, gives you some quick money. The other thing we do, another additional 1750 combination of sign-on incentive bonus, is um, for our contractors, we, when you run with us, you lease on, you run under our authority, and you run under Iowa plates. Iowa plates are seventeen hundred and fifty dollars a year. We pay for your first year's license plates for you. So as those charges come in, because they're normally billed out one twenty-five every two weeks for seven months of the year, but we make that first year payment for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Get your business up and running. You know, your feet on the ground. Get yourself established. So it's a total of a two thousand dollar package. All right. All right. Well, thank you very, very much. I, I really, I really appreciate the the conversation. I mean, I I really enjoyed this conversation. Again, like I said, I I, I learned a lot. It gives me something to think about uh, in the future. Uh, if if and when I decide to uh, transition over, and I will definitely share this information with my uh, network of drivers, man, because I a, a lot of drivers okay. that I network with. You know they're they're interesting in going into lease and they and they're just not sure 
which route they're taking because the same mm-hmm. the same information is just being bombarded to us you know if oh, yeah. is this lease good yeah. is this we we got this for you and you know with this lease you can make money 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 and mm-hmm. all like that and and like i said you just came you just came in and just just broke it down for me to understand it better well, so thank you very much yeah, you didn't you didn't you do need to understand, and, and I'll be first to tell you, uh, and I'll tell you right up front, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Owning a truck uh, does not mean you're suddenly going to get rich and you're not going to have to work very hard. Um, because really, when you take that step to be a truck owner, I mean, the way you make money uh, and the way you make it work is by, you know, running running the miles and putting the effort into it. But one thing I can tell you with our company, that for a contractor who wants to do a lease purchase program, and who is willing to, and we don't want you to stay out, you know, weeks on end or anything like that. Um, but for, for contractor that's willing to, you know, run his clock out, um, you know, not when you, when you get empty, pick a load and keep moving, contractor's going to make money. And uh, I don't think there's a job in this business that's going to make any of us rich, but you can make a very good living doing this. You can own your own business, and that's kind of what we hope it does. Um, I appreciate the time. I appreciate. I really appreciate the questions. One thing I could do, if you if you're interested, I've got your name and phone number because you had that on the Facebook. If you happen to have an uh, email address you share with me, I could just send you out some information so you had it to look over. I've got that. I will get that information out to you so you can look it over, share it. I appreciate the time and the questions. I really do, and I can do you any good at any point in time. Or if you come up with any more questions. My name and number are going to be on there. Make sure you give me a call. I will. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Take care.